Hey there, Mr. Myasis here. This is the last um, video for Unit 2 for the Essentials of Calculus. This is Lesson 2-5. This is the third video here. We're talking about rates of change. So we got two types of rates of change that we're going to look at. We have average rate of change, AROC, and we've got instantaneous rate of change, IROC. Now, the average rate of change is the slope between two points. It's what you've already done. You've been doing your, you know, for a long time in math, you're looking for the slope between two, um, two points. So the average rate of change does not use calculus. It's just, it's just the slope, no derivative. You gotta look for the word average rate of change. So average rate is going to be the slope of a line. So if you see average rate, R, like that's the pirate's one that the pirate likes. This is the slope of a secant line. R, R rock is a slope of a secant line. Okay, so just think of pirates when you think of average rate of change. We're looking for AR, which is the average rate of change, which is just the slope of a line. The instantaneous rate, rate of change is actually the derivative, and it's the it's the derivative at a single point. The slope the slope of that line at a single point is called the instantaneous rate of change. It's the how is the rate is how is the rate changing how is that rate changing at an instant at a certain point in time or a certain spot whereas the average rate changes over over um, two points okay so let's take a look at some examples so here i want to find the average rate the r the right rate average rate of change from x equals 10 to x equals 30. so we're looking at is we're looking at 10 comma blank and 30 comma blank we need the y's and we're looking for the slope between these two so what the first thing I'm gonna do is find f of 10 and that's gonna give me 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 which is 1020 and I'm gonna find f of 30 which is gonna give me 27,060 and those are my y values right so here I have a y2 minus y1. Uh, another way to write this is uh, the average rate of change is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. All right, so the average rate of change is going to be f of 30 minus f of 10, which is the y values, divided by 30 minus 10. So I'm going to have 27,000. 60 minus that over 20 and I'm going to go ahead and reduce that one down here and I'm going to have 1302 now normally we're going to want to have some sort of context here in units but for now this is our answer because I have no like actual unit problem we'll, we'll talk about units when we get to like you know velocity and speed and things like that so now we want the instantaneous rate of change. So how is that different than the average rate of change? So I'm going to do this in a different color here. Instantaneous rate of change. We're going to take the derivative. And that's going to be 3x squared plus 2. Now we did that. Now we're going to plug in 10. Notice here that the instantaneous rate of change only has one x value that we're dealing with. That's another... Um, that's another clue as to you're doing a derivative. It's the only one thing I need to put in there, right? So I rock, A rock, there's average rate of change, there's instantaneous rate of change. Remember that an average rate of change, you have two points and you're finding the slope between those and the instantaneous rate of change, you're just finding the derivative and plugging in a value. Boom, done guys, we'll see you next time. Oops.